Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy joker 50 x and today starts the first day of my new series where I'll be giving you anime recommendations and giving a brief synopsis of the anime and why I think it's a great anime to watch and whether or not you should watch it if, you know, you're into these type of things. So, starting off this series, we're going to talk about something that is fairly new. It came out around last year, if I remember correctly, Boku no Hero Academia or My Hero Academy in America. It's, you know, whatever you want to call it. Now, this series takes place in a universe where 80% of the human population are heroes. They're born with this thing called a quirk, which gives them supernatural powers, anywhere from genetic mutations to elemental control, um, to the manipulation of other human beings through, you know, whatever possible, such as blood, such as hair, such as, um, saliva such as eye contact anything of that nature now in this in this world there's certain people again like i said that are born corkless and our main hero actually from the very start is born corkless and you might be wondering well how does he become the hero if he's born corkless well we discover that within the first season of the series which is what i'm going to be giving my synopsis on starting now now starting off we learn about this hero who's slowly fading away this hero was, he's the number one hero in all of Japan. He's the strongest hero. He's the symbol of peace. And I'm not going to give out his name because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone if they would like to watch the series. All I will say is that this hero is slowly losing his might. He was once known for being the greatest hero alive. And now this hero can barely keep up his strength for, for close to three hours a day, which is very sad to see that. You know, the, the, the symbol of peace is withering away slowly and the people don't realize it, but he doesn't want to give up on them, so it's affecting his health more so and more so. And um, by the end of the season, what we're actually introduced to is that he he's actually been targeted to be, like, wiped out. Like, he's a target. There is someone out there that actually wants him dead, not just random people out there committing petty crimes, no. There is a someone with an agenda to kill our hero, the um, the symbol of peace. And again, I'm trying not to like mention names too much. And the only name I'm going to mention is Deku, and you'll find out who Deku is later. Uh, Deku, on the other hand, is this this kid who all he ever wanted to do was be a hero. This kid has been analyzing all heroes his entire life he has this notebook where he's taking notes and everything but Deku was born corkless and what that means is Deku doesn't have a superpower naturally now thanks to um, you know his his admiration and him trying to be the greatest hero he can be without being corkless there's a situation where he actually jumps in and tries to save someone from actually being killed pretty much and what happens is he's captured as well and he's almost killed and the sad part I guess you can say about it is the person who he's trying to save is actually someone who who damn near hates him and disrespects him disrespects him constantly and talks down on him for no reason honestly and you have this this sad happy kid who's just like yo I'm I, I, I have to save you I have to save you and he's like terrified but from the kindness of his heart he still rushes in to try to save this guy and be a hero and the symbol of peace sees this and he's like this kid he's worthy and I'm not gonna say what he's worthy of but he, he let's just say he's worthy and so the story progresses and we get to this this Academy called UA now UA is a, a pristine Academy for um, students aspiring to be great heroes that's where some of the greatest heroes have graduated from ua which is a high school again a pristine high school for um exceptionally well students and you either have to be recommended to go there or i guess you have to pass some kind of entry exam that proves that you're worthy or you're extremely smart so that is where we're actually introduced into our our um our subcast of characters that all have some really good, um, some really good character progression or character build up 
throughout the first season and season two they only build upon even more and I think that's really well for us to have such a um, such such good character backstory and progress and build up and literally only our first season where generally speaking that's the introductory to most series where you you learn about these sub characters and subplots and stuff like that and they build upon it from there and they do a really good job depicting all these things in literally just 13 episodes that I was actually shocked I binge watched this episode this series when I first found out about it I had a um, a friend of mine told me about it. He was like, "Hey, bro, I really think you should check this out. You would like it." So I go, I go and check it out, and I'm actually mind blown. I, again, I binge watched this series in one day, and now I'm reading the manga, and I'm almost caught up on it. Like I'm ten chapters from being completely caught up, and the stuff that's happening is really just phenomenal. And the way this Arthur has cultivated this story is it's really mind blowing. Like some of these abilities and techniques. You, you wouldn't think of being like a power or something like that, but he's found a way to use them and, hey, make it happen. So, overall, I would give this series probably a 7 out of 10. It's great. There isn't too many flaws, with the exception of, um, you know, I won't say this. You'll find that out later. It, it, it doesn't really happen until season 2, but um, there, there's, the flaws are very, very minor. They, it's really not even worth mentioning, honestly, when there's so many like big name animes that have way bigger flaws that are that just like overshadow this tenfold. So, you know what? Fuck that. I give this anime a uh, uh, eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. It's a great. It has a great story build up. It has great character progress and build up. It has great subplots and plots that build upon each character individually. It has a great rivalry. Rival. Um, and yeah overall I just really enjoy this series it's something fun and enjoyable to watch and I highly recommend it so if you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't seen My Hero Academia or Boku no Hero Academia hit that like button comment tell me what you think and hit go ahead and just destroy smash that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video and um on the next video, we will be talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and Full Metal Alchemist and why I recommend those anime series. And this is going to probably be like a daily thing where I upload these or probably uh, twice a week. I can do these a lot easier than gameplay because my computer is really retarded at times. And, I, and for some reason, my gameplay tends to come out corrupted, which is just very frustrating. So again, if you guys enjoy these, be sure to the like button, comment something you think, and as always, you should your favorite Bible X. Take our bodies high.